If you like long shots, we got them here at Harris Chester this week. Hello, I'm Jennifer Sherlock, and this is PA Harness Week. What a day last Sunday here at Harris. Lots of money won, and you could be next, as the lottery commercial says. And I'll have a story about a driver who is also a trainer. We'll also take you to the Meadowlands for the finals of the graduate and the cutler. Those stories, plus the coach on racing's fastest-paced half-hour, PA Harness Week. Thanks, Jen. Hi, everybody, and welcome to PA Harness Week. I'm Steve Ross, and the beauty queen to my right is my broadcast partner, Heather Moffat. And why is she wearing a tiara and a sash? Do you want me to tell you why? <laughs> Last Saturday, I competed in the Mrs. Delaware United States pageant, and I represented Harrington, Delaware. I'm Mrs. Harrington. You're not Mrs. Harrington married to Pat Harrington, correct? No. From one day at a time? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> is that heavy? That looks heavy. Um, I, no, this is one of my three awards that I got. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I got People's Choice Award, Best Ad Page, and Best Interview, so I'm psyched. And you didn't get Best Teeth? Uh, yeah, they didn't have an award for that. But Look I definitely at those chiclets. Are you kidding me? Look at those teeth. Wow. So it was it fun? It was great. It was great. But I know we have a lot of show to get through, although I could talk for the next half an hour about myself. You? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, we got so much stuff to talk about. And there's a big event coming to Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs. It is going to happen at the end of July, between July 27th and July 31st, correct? Yes. And what is that? It's called the Harness Racing Youth League. It's sponsored by the Harness Horse Youth Foundation. And they're a great organization. They bring the next generation into the sport, and we have a lot more to learn about them. Let's watch. Horses are great teachers and sharing the excitement of harness racing is important. That is the basis for the Harness Horse Youth Foundation's existence, but we offer much more. Programs, awareness, education, horsemanship. Many of today's horse-loving young people and their families do not have easy access to hang out at the barn or appreciate the standard bred athlete except from the other side of the grandstand fence. The foundation uses horses to capture interest and build important life skills. By learning about daily care and responsibility for the horse's well-being, a young person grows in his or her own sense of confidence. Now approaching our fourth decade, the Youth Foundation has offered financial assistance to students with a passion for racing. The Youth Foundation provides that critically important first step of introducing racing to the next generation. Our programs emphasize basic horsemanship, critical thinking, and possible career options. Sponsors are vital so that we may continue our efforts of engaging and attracting the enthusiasm of young people to racing. The Youth Foundation is a public charity relying exclusively on the generosity of individuals, farms, racetracks, horsemen's associations, trainers, drivers, and others for support. We take great pride in our success stories, success measured one by one as our graduates continue to become involved in the industry. By coming to the summer camp is a life-changing experience. Harness Racing Youth League summer camps, in addition to our newly created family day and workshop curriculums, are each geared towards providing and enhancing that special horse-human connection in fun and stimulating environments. The Harness Horse Youth Foundation is always on the move when it comes to youth programs. Come join us. We love harness racing! Woo! So call us today for the many ways you can help or log on to www.hhyf.org. It is an awesome organization. Just go to the website hhyf.org and uh, download an application to find out more about this group. We are actually going to head to Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs. Ooh, good. On that subject now about the HHYF and that great track. We've got the Open Handicap Pace. It's a full field of nine. OK Braveheart, six to five choice with Jim Earl Jr. Drop Red, overshadowed last year.
Master is a three-year-old, but I think he's going to shine this season. And four stars, too. That was the horse. I don't know if you remember. Last year, I kept saying it was a girl horse. Found out just a gelding. They have 55 and 2, 28 and 3, the second panel. Drop red, setting on its fractions, but not too hot for this group. Leads it by about a length and a half. Okay, Braveheart tracking there from the pocket. Inside third, where's Waldo? First over, not much happening for Mr. Hollowell. Inside fifth, four stars, Sue. Outside transcending, might have to go three wide. Four trumps is moving up. And at the back there, Stiller, Arden, Storm, and I can dodge bullets. Three quarters, 123 and 2. 28 even third panel. And now Drop Red has to deal with OK Braveheart. Pulling the pocket and pulls right up alongside. Where's Waldo? Is tracking there in third. At the top of the stretch, OK Braveheart now on even terms with Drop Red, who's not done on the inside. Outside there, where's Waldo third? It's a battle between OK Braveheart and Drop Red. Drop Red! Kevin Sizer knows how to size up his competition, right? <laughs> Drop Red goes wire to wire in 115. One. This is a new track record for four-year-old pacing stallions at the track. And OK Braveheart got a great trip but just couldn't get there. Where is Waldo? I know where he is. He was third. All right. And when we come back, we'll have more from Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs later on in the show, including the $300,000 Max Hemp Memorial at Limbs. Two of those babies coming up to another way. One more lap. The biggest kind of favorite of one tonight. A monster is a two-year-old last year. It's your big night out, and you deserve a little more. That's why you'll love the Downs Off-Track Wagering. It's more than a sports bar. It's extra fun, because you can watch, wager, and win on the hottest horse racing action from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs and across the country. Downs Off-Track Wagering. Allentown, Carbondale, East Stroudsburg, Hazleton. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Quotable, got Why do so many winners Waldo. travel in EB trailers? They love the ride. EB Pace Center trailers deliver your horses in peak condition, ready to race every time. Designed to provide safe and comfortable transport for standard bred racehorses, EB's Pace Center Series trailers are the preferred choice of professional standard bred trainers and breeders nationwide. All EB Pace Center models feature custom standard bred options and excellent airflow and aligned interior ceiling to keep your horses fresh and comfortable. Every EB trailer has commercial quality componentry and riveted sidewall construction engineered and designed to stand up to constant and rigorous horse and road use. And a sleek aerodynamic nose design that also delivers improved fuel savings. More winners ride with EB than any other trailer. EB, setting the pace in standard red horse transportation. 